Louis McDougall is going to tear your heart out in a movie called A Monster Calls. He plays a, uh, a young boy who has to contend uh, with the illness of a parent. And, uh, you know, you're going to see the footage from this thing in this review right now, and you're going to tell exactly what's going on here. But uh, uh, he has all of these visions and nightmares that are kind of driving him crazy, and they're all sort of parables to the, the, the horrors that he's facing in his reality. He sees a monster every night, and the monster is uh, voiced by Liam Neeson and is created by some incredibly powerful uh, computer-generated animation. This is just gorgeous work in this movie. Uh, especially because it's all uh, so, you know, real and bleak and gray. Uh, you know, the uh, the shots of the, the little town that Louis McDougall uh, lives in and goes to school in and everything. Everything just sort of looks beaten down and dark, very real, very raw. And then in the midst of all of this realness and rawness is this elaborate, ornate, almost, uh, you know, Peter Jackson-esque from the Lord of the Rings style monster animation that just is incredible. It's really, really wonderful stuff. And there are some fantastic scenes between the boy and the monster. Um, and the monster is telling the boy some stories that are uh, meant to help him and uh, and also, I think, help the audience who is uh, uh, sort of along for this ride, watching the illness of this parent and feeling more and more emotionally uncomfortable. At least I was. I was getting really, really upset. Um, this is a movie that does not pull any punches, and it's a very strange movie because of that, because it looks like it's going to be this kind of fantasy fairy tale sort of along the lines of... Uh, uh, the BFG, uh, but it is not really that. It is it is dark. It's got a fable kind of quality to it, but it's really about facing death, you know, for a young person, and uh, it's harrowing. And it it doesn't really come in with a light touch at all. You really get to see an illness. You really get to see, uh, you know, sort of the emotional. Uh, sort of impact of, of what a person would go through facing something like this for somebody that they love and god it's hard to watch you know so i was thinking of you know the audience that this movie might be sort of entertained by this and and certainly you know i had a tough time as a parent and i couldn't imagine a little kid watching something like this having a good time with it it, it you can't take away from the artistry or the craft or the the uh the value of this movie because it's a really really well put together film there are fantastic performances i think maybe the one that feels the most inauthentic is sigourney weaver who is always so competent she's good as the grandmother but i wish that her accent was a little bit sort of more buried in in the midst of all of these other actors. Toby Cabell, who played Dr. Doom in that terrible Fantastic Four movie, uh, plays a uh, uh, kind of an idiot father that's just sort of missing the point here and letting his son uh, go through some really heavy stuff kind of on his own. Uh, but good performance because you really just want to slap that father on the forehead and say, what the hell are you thinking, man? Felicity Jones plays the mom and uh, she goes through some pretty big stuff in this film and she's wonderful and heartbreaking and she's definitely having a moment. She's in everything right now, including uh, Rogue One um, and uh, some really, really powerful work there. Uh, and I, you know, of course, love Liam Neeson's voice. So it was fantastic to hear him as this monster uh, is sort of uh, giving us all lessons as we watch this uh, through <laughs> just snot and tears and, you know, just, just, you know, like I lost my mom. So of course, all of those moments were welling up inside of me as I'm watching this thing. And, and uh, yeah, it's heavy, it's powerful, it's beautifully crafted, but I don't know who the hell is gonna wanna rush out to see this. Cause this is like, you know, bring a box of Kleenex with you, man. This is powerful, heavy, wonderful stuff. But uh, yeah, not a, not a feel good movie. Not a great like, woo! Let's let's uh, celebrate and kick back and uh, enjoy the uh, the winter season and and be all festive because uh, yeah, this hits like a ton of bricks. But God, you got to commend all of the filmmakers, the director and the writer and all the actors, especially the CG visual effects artists and stuff that kind of blended these these worlds together so effectively. I'm gonna give a monster calls an eight out of ten, but you have been warned. You're going to be bawling your eyes out when you see this.
Hey, thanks for checking out that video on our EPN channel. It's just one small part of the things that we make around here. So if you liked it, don't forget to check out some of our other vids and hit that subscribe button.